Let's do it. Yeah, it says we're, we're good on this side. Yeah. And welcome in to the first ever Brian Lyons softball broadcast. As always, your voice of the Lions, Drew Rogers, joined today with uh, the self-proclaimed number one fan in Brian's softball history, Mr. Marcus Allen. How's it going, buddy? It's going great today, you know. I'm glad to be out here. Beautiful weather. Come watch some softball. You know, I'm a self-proclaimed fan, but I feel like the ladies will tell you I'm the number one supporter. Absolutely. At every game, uh, <laughs> you'll, you won't find somebody more dedicated to the softball program. In the top of the first, Brian was able, I believe, to get a 1-2-3. I don't believe Brunel got anybody on base. If, is that, that correct? Yeah, I think that's correct. Okay. Uh, it was pretty quick. Uh, at the plate, we have got, I believe that is Callie. I believe that's Callie Green. Callie, Callie Green. Dale. Callie Green with a nice, yeah. nice first base hit. Yeah, Callie Green gets to first there, but I believe Juliana, oh boy. Santalinas. Santalinas, okay. We'll go with it. She gets thrown out, so the Lions get an out there, and they have one girl on first base. At the plate, I believe we've got number 30, Aubrey Presley. The, um, I believe she's a senior, hitting 512 on the year and 41 at bats. Power hit threat, too. She's got two home runs, eight RBIs, slugging percentage of 707. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aubrey's a real big hitter, man. I've been out here, and I've seen her hitting him out the fence yeah. plenty of times. And that one is popped up. I believe it's going to get out of play down the left field line. Uh, for the first broadcast, we actually are, we've only got the single cam. We'll have the switcher for you, um, multiple camera angles in the future. So we'll try to keep you updated as the game goes along, if anything gets down that left field line. The count, 0-1, the delivery. Presley hits a nuke to center field, but it's tracked down by the center fielder. Good piece of fielding there from, I believe that's going to be number, I believe that's number three. I believe that's going to be Dayton Power, a freshman. That was a rocket off the bat, Marcus. She did a really good job to track that one down. Yes, she did. Dayton Power actually really put the squeeze on that one out there in the field. I'm very impressed with that. That one came off the bat. You heard the pop. I was like, God, it's not getting out, but I thought it would get down out Me there too. near the fence. And this one popped up over our heads. By number 99, Brianna Bumgarner. Yeah. She is a real problem yeah. at the plate for everybody. You guys got to understand. Her and Aubrey really out there hitting them good ones. I believe Bumgarner was a player of the week um, was like three weeks ago, if memory serves correctly. Yep. Um, two home runs in one week. And she she hits 400. Slugging percentage is in the 725 range, mm -hmm. which is almost it's really good. And that's why she's in the cleanup spot. On the mound for Bernal, I believe we've got, it's number 15. And that is going to be. I can't. Nah, I don't have her. Yeah, don't we'll try to get that name for you, but. So far, she's done a pretty good job here in this first inning. She's got Bree Bumgarner at two balls, two strikes, two out. Runner on first, Callie Green. And the 2-2 delivery. Bumgarner, Straight shallow down center field. And the last two outs belong to number three, Dayton Power. So both teams yet to strike here in the first inning. We'll be right back in the top of the second here on the Lions Radio Network.
And we're back, stepping into the box for the Bernal University Tigers. I believe, I believe that's going to be Peyton Hawkins, number two, a freshman. Plays the infield, played almost every game this year, hitting 377. No home runs to speak of, but gets on base. Gets on base quite a bit. Mm. The first pitch from Peyton, a strike. Here comes the 0-1 delivery. That one just a little bit outside. Umpire didn't like it, much to the chagrin of the Brian faithful. Mm. Unfortunate, unfortunate. And the 1-1 one, one pitch from Peyton. This one swung on, got her with a top of the zone. She sits one strike away from picking up that first out. Peyton looking pretty in control here today, Marcus. I'm, she was a little out of sorts in their last home game. Uh, struggled to find her zone uh, where the pitches were framed. But um, today, she looks to be... She's been really good this year, and she looks to have that that confidence and control that we've seen game in and game out. Yeah, definitely. I know she's been putting a lot of extra work behind the scenes, you know, after hours in practice. I know all the ladies actually have yep. been, you know. They got their new batting cage facility, which got set up. They've been out there getting their hits in, getting the good pitches in, you know. Last game, unfortunately, you know, we had a few errors we could have worked on, and yep. I think the girls have touched up on those things over practice this week, and we're going to see tonight. Yeah, well, I believe last time out, that was versus Union College. Yes. If memories, they've had their last four two doubleheaders postponed back-to-back -back, mm -hmm. um, versus the University of Pikeville and the University of the Cumberlands. Uh, but to be fair, that's four road games they didn't have to play, and now they get back home to play this Bernal University team. Yep, that's really big for us. You know, them home games really have a lot of fan support, and, you know, they just have that home court advantage, I feel. Yep. Absolutely. 1-1 one, one in the count for reasons at the plate for Bernal. We've got number 18, Abigail Brown, senior catcher behind the plate. Uh, got a home run and seven RBIs on the year. And she takes us hack at that one. And a swing and a miss. Yeah. Called strike two. The 1-2 one, count for reasons. And the delivery, this one tipped up high, hits the top of the fence above us. Brown will stay alive for now. And the one, two delivery on the way from Reasons. Oh my goodness. They don't give her the called strike three. The count will move to two, two. Mm -mm tell you behind the plate Aubrey Presley really impressive job she does with framing pitches I mean she really stares at that ball makes the ump think about it at least I would behind there she's very impressive with what she does and this one a shallow pop up to short beard is under it for out number two and the Lions believe this will be just batter number six for Bernal as reasons has set them down one two three four and five mm -hmm. And speaking of that six batter into the box for Bernal is going to be number 12, Cameron Harkey. Uh, sophomore outfielder, plays a little bit behind the plate. Three RBIs, um, 316 average. And the first pitch of the at bat from Reasons, a strike. She is looking really in control up there. Let's see if she can keep it with this one here. And that one a little high. I believe Harkey thought about it for just a second. Yeah, she was looking. She was definitely thinking about yeah. swinging. And the 1-1, one, one. this one in the dirt, scooped up by Presley. The count moves to 2-1. Mm -hmm. You hear the you hear Coach Nathan encouraging his pitcher from the dugout. If there's one thing you'll hear throughout softball season, this one, a liner over the head of the first baseman, the throw, not in time. And Harkey finally gets a, ma uh, a woman on base for Bernal. But if there's one thing you'll hear at Bryan uh, College softball games, it is Coach Nathan at the top of his lungs saying something. Absolutely, you'll definitely hear him encouraging his girls, telling them to get to it. You yep. know, just 
have to keep the energy up at all times. Yeah. That goes for all sports. You know, when the energy is lacking, unfortunately, I feel like the play is lacking. Yeah, absolutely. He brings, I mean, he brings that in-your-face type of energy, but as a coach, it's it's something you either have or you don't, and he's definitely got a lot of it. Yep, yep, he definitely does. And I think it's really well contrast to the way uh, Coach Leah coaches because she's very, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit more submissive and passive in the way she coaches. So I think they really coach very well with one another. Yeah. A little bit of fire and ice, and of course they are married, so, you know. I believe in the box for Bernal, we've got, I believe this is going to be number 11, Charlotte Smith, sophomore infielder. A 1-1 one -one delivery from Reasons, a bunt and a good one. Oh. Stahl can't handle it. She'll turn around and stop the runner at second. Bern Man, what a bunt right there. That one was a slow dribbler on the ground. Stahl had to come all the way up to get that one. Couldn't handle it in time. Right at her ankles. Hard mm -hmm. to pick up when you're running full speed. A lot of people think that looks easy. Now we have stepping up for Bernal University, number three, Day Empower. Infielder yeah. who just put the squeeze on those two balls yeah. out there in the field. We've already mentioned her a few times. We'll see if she can get done with the bat. That one a little outside. Count moves to 1-0. Right here, if your reasons, you slow down and you focus on getting anything in the infield or a strikeout here, any base is gonna be is gonna be a force out at this point, mm. except for home plate. And that one, a, whew, a monster hack from Power doesn't bring any results. You can hear Peyton Reese is encouraging her team to keep them alive in this game as well. Oh, she goes for the bunt. Not able to get it. The count one, two. Brian College sitting just one strike away from getting out of the inning here. And it would be a big one. You don't want to fall behind early in the game. This would be a huge if they can get it out here. And the delivery from Reasons. This one tipped. Thank goodness that... Man, how about the day we're having out here? We have got prime softball weather. A little bit of sweat. I mean, if you're out there in those pants. And that one, another foul ball. A little bit of sweat if you're out there in those pants, I think. But for us, sitting here in shorts and a t-shirt, we've got the best We got the best seat in the house. Yes, we really do. You know, outside today, it's probably about 67 degrees. Yes. Yeah. All sun, no clouds in the sky. Just a perfect day to come out here and watch some beautiful softball. Reasons the delivery, another foul ball. This one high, my goodness. That one almost hit the soccer field behind us. Dayton Power still up to bat. Yeah, she's doing real well to stay alive here in this count. Um, she hasn't really, she hasn't put anything out there of substance yet, but she's getting some pitches on Reasons. That one outside. I like the idea, trying to make her chase. Mm -hmm. She's been ahead in the count, or excuse me, she was behind in the count. No, she was ahead in the count, excuse me. And threw her something that maybe she would think about just because, the you know, Brunel's looking to score right now. And that one a little high. The count moves to full. And now if your reasons, I think you throw your best pitch and hope it blows right by her. Yep, I definitely agree. Right now, this is when you need to throw something that's going to get her to bite. And the full count delivery on the way from reasons. This one, a liner to left field. And I believe that's Julie, Juliana Sant Centellinas. Centellinas, yes. Will stop the runner from advancing home, but base is loaded here for Bryan College in the top of the second inning. And into the box for Bernal is going to be number eight, Riley Smith. Uh, my goodness. Talk about a girl that plays for her teammates. 21 RBIs leads the wow. team by a long shot. And this is who you want up if you're Bernal. Absolutely. The delivery a little high, man. Some reasons right now, I just need to stay calm and reserved yep. and stick to what I know. Yeah, the runs don't count till they touch the plate. Absolutely. And the 1 0 delivery on the way from reasons. This one, another high ball. And, but, I mean, talk about a perfect scenario for Bernal, a girl that's driven in 21 RBIs. I mean, batting 424 on the year. Um, a little bit of a do it all player. Nine stolen bases. Man. 
This one on the ground, fielded by the first baseman. Number 15, yeah, Lily, Taylor. Lily Taylor. And Brian College gets out of the bases loaded scenario in the top of the second. Brunel loads it up just to be let down. Mm. And uh, we'll be right back for top of, or bottom of the second action right here on the Lions Radio Network. And welcome back in. Brian College gets out of the top of the second with no damage done. And into the box for him, number 10, Savannah Beard. The first pitch, I believe we said her name was Carly Neal. We looked that up over the break. Yep. Carly Neal, her first pitch is a ball. Carly Neal's been doing a good job for Bernal at the mound. Yep. And that one, a called ball two. Be here to head in the count. She can afford to she can afford to watch one go by, or she can afford to make this pitcher throw one right down the middle. Beard, of course, a slapper. And a called ball three. My goodness. Can't find the strike zone here early in this at bat. Number 10, Savannah, transfer coming from Dyersburg State. Yep. Really good. Um, she's a junior this year. She's really having a good season. She's really ready to turn it up. And a late but called strike one there is. It, it, it looked really good to me. I, I thought he was going to let her run to first. The 3-1 pitch. Beard in what the I gap mean. through second. And no, that's probably the easiest base she's taken all year as a slapper. She's really got to get to first base. But yep. that one gets through to the outfield. And Brian College starts the bottom of the second with a player on base. In the box for the Lions is going to be number 25, Haley Stahl. Haley Stahl, numbers down a bit, but we know she can hit. We, we know, know she, she can. Yeah, we know. Them numbers aren't nothing but numbers. When she gets that ball to the bat, mm -hmm. things happen. And the 1 0 delivery. This one high. Beard going to second. The throw, not in time. And Savannah Beard takes second, gets a runner in scoring position. Kelly, Kelly Neal still at mound for Bernal University. I would wager that Beard is. Probably the quickest on the team. Maybe it's uh, Santalinas or did you say Vanessa? Maybe it, yeah, it, it'd think, be close. I think it's a very close uh, yeah. mashup between Santalinas, Savannah, and Vanessa. Yeah, they're all very fast. You know, they they implement that slapping technique yeah. so well, and they're just those girls really just move. And a called strike one. So same scenario as the last at bat. Three one count here, and. Haley Stahl can swing away if she chooses, or she can just kind of been do, do what she's been doing. She takes a swing at it. This one foul off out of bounds to the right field line. And the full count delivery on the way from Neal. This one. Well low, Stahl's gonna take a base. Now Brian College loading up the bases here in the second inning. It's always so interesting with softball how quickly the dynamics can change yep. in this sport. And into the box for the Lions is gonna be number 15, Lily Taylor. Um, Taylor's having a decent season from behind the plate, but she really holds down that first base position over there for the Lions. And the bunt, uh, and that one's no good. It's going to pop back towards us, hit the fence. They're obviously just trying to advance the runners here. Got zero outs. Got a lot to play with. Got a lot of room to work with. Yep. 
Lily can really make something happen right here. We'll see if she stays with the bunt on the 0-1 count. The delivery from Neil, this one well outside. Don't know if she's trying to avoid that bunt there with that pitch or if she's just, I mean, she's a little off right now. She's been kind of all over the, st the strike zone. She hasn't really been able to find it consistently. Oh my, <laughs> give it to her. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting to say the least. Not really sure what she has to do. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, neither do I. The 2-1 delivery stands, and that one inside as well. It's going to wow. be a called ball three. Very interesting call. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of our Lady Lions, but Taylor might should be sitting in the dugout right now. Yeah, those are those are some very, very particular calls by the umpire right here. And, you know, I have nothing else to say besides yeah. that. Well, you know, I don't mind it if there's just a pitch that the umpire doesn't, they don't like, like the inside right mm -hmm. there. They just don't like it, the mm -hmm. inside corner, then fine. But you got to be consistent through For the everybody. Game. Yeah. Yep. I believe I like that's, that. that was kind of a problem in the union game for head coach Leah Taylor uh, in the second union game. That's... That's what got her pretty fired up. The 3-1, and Brunel now in the same situation that Brian was just an inning ago, but they don't have two outs. Zero outs for the Tigers, and stepping into the, bait, the box, excuse me, for the Lady Lions is going to be, uh, that's Vanessa Hart. I thought that was Juliana Sant Santolinas. They look, uh, they look kind of, kind of alike, just hit the same way. Hart had a really nice series versus Union um, last time. I believe she was five for six. Absolutely played yeah. phenomenal. And I believe she's got three runs on the season. Those all happened in the Union College games. She was, um, she hit really well. She actually got one to the outfield as a slapper, which you don't you don't see very much. Um, but her base running was pretty excellent as well. I believe she was either all of Bryan College's runs versus Union or uh, most of them. A phenomenal performance of Vanessa Hart against Union. We've got a mound visit brought by the Brunel University coach and... I wonder what he's still yeah. his team right now. Yeah, I mean, you've got to force out at every base, um, even, even home plate, so that's good. Um, so that kind of plays into their hands, having a slapper. Um, but the ball's got to go home to protect the run. And if Hart gets a hard enough one on the ground, you've got Beard at third, who is, you know, she's a quick base runner. She's she got to go. She's going to be booking it to home. Um, so a little bit of a pickle here for Brunel. We'll see how it shakes out. Let's see what number five Vanessa Hart does right here. And the first pitch, a called strike. He's really liking that outside quite a bit. He's given pitches there. He's not He's not giving them on the inside. Yeah, he's not really liking the inside coming from Cali Neal, which is interesting, very interesting to see. Of course, that's the inside for a left-hander. This one, a foul ball. It popped up on the fence, kicks back into the dirt. And of course, that's a that's the inside pitch for a left-hander. All these, the girls that have been up have been, right have been they've been left-handed batters. Oh, left-handed batters, I yeah. apologize. So we're talking about the pitchers. And the delivery from Hart. She puts one on the ground. Beard to home. And there's there's no throw to the plate. I thought we were going to get some action there. We Very just, surprised yeah. that now didn't do anything right there. I thought she would yeah. at least make, make an attempt. That was the shortstop number, I believe that was number 22, Whitney Hulls Hulsey. Oh, no, so that's the third baseman. That was... I believe that was number 11. I believe that was number 11, Charlotte Smith. She's an infielder, yeah. And I, I, to me, it's maybe, you know, I'm not the most, not the softball expert, but to me, the only play there is to throw it home, is it not? I, I mean, neither am I, Drew. I don't play softball, but I think you got to stop them from scoring yeah. or at least attempt, at least make a throw to home. It was going to be close. Beard, Beard was going to have to slide to get under that tag, too. Uh, into the box for Bryan College, the next batter up. Number 33, Peyton Reasons, the pitcher. She'll see if she can add to this Bryan College lead. The count sitting at 1-1. One, one. And the delivery from Neil. This one almost got her in the thigh. 
Good pitch by Neil okay. at the top of the mound. And Reasons, Reasons stands really close to the plate. I really like when batters do that. Reasons high fly ball. This one stays in the infield for out number one. Into the box for Brian. Number 37, Juliana Santalinas. And another situation where they've got a slapper in the box. And if she gets a hard enough one on the ground, I'd stall can get home. Stall, not you know the fastest base runner, but she can she can get there as long as it's hard enough or in a gap. First pitch from Neil, a called strike one. Bases loaded, Santalinas, and that one. A called ball one on the outside corner. If you're Brian College, I think it's it's necessary you come away with at least another run here. I mean, yes. really put yourself, set yourself up nice for the rest of the ball game. I definitely think so. Right now, a base is loaded. Santolina is at the bat. You can get a nice hit, you know, yep. nice line drive and make something really happen. So the problem presented for Brian here is that their power hitters are on base. You see Santalina's put one on the ground, stall, slide, she's safe. I thought it was a forced out. I thought it was a forced out too. That was a very interesting call. Uh, we'll see how this shakes. I, Very interesting yeah, we got a we got a visit Empire. coming from the from the Brunel University coach. We'll just we'll kind of keep quiet and see how this one shakes out. Cause I was she not standing on the base? I I I, I, I thought so. Yeah. Maybe the call is that she didn't touch it after. I, maybe she was on it and then got off of it when she. I don't know. I don't we'll, know. We'll see. I'm, I'm, we'll see. Maybe my eyes might have fooled me, Drew. And the run's gonna stand. Brian College gets a second run in there. And the bases are still loaded. Number three, Callie Green gonna step into the box for him. Very interesting call coming from an umpire. Haley Stahl being able to score off. Yeah, that. I mean, heads up play to her. She didn't stop, she, she didn't, didn't stop. give up. She slid, she gets the run. Big run for Brian College here. Callie Green gets yep. under it. This one a pop up into foul territory. The third baseman's under it. Caught by number 22 on Brunel, Whitney Hustley. Yep, that's Holsey there, and then they're having to take off Aubrey Presley's catcher gear. I don't don't think she thought she was going to get to bat this inning. Presley steps into the box with two outs and a monster batting average and slugging percentage that is just begging to go higher here. We'll see what Neil does. Presley thought about it for a moment. A called strike one from the umpire. Yeah, Aubrey Presley, she is just really something that bad. Like, some of them things you would hear, you would think it was a dude hitting that yep. ball, man. It's a pop off the bat. When Every you, time. Yeah. And the 0-1 delivery from Neil. This one well outside. And you can kind of tell Neil is picking her spots with Presley. She's not wanting to throw directly at her not right at now. Not at all. She's really trying to get her to reach out and, and get out of her, her, her zone right there, trying to, to swing. 1-1, one, one, this one high, yeah, you see it. This, I mean, this is this is a pitcher that understands the batter that she's dealing with and the fact that she's got three players on base. Playing very cautious, Callie Neal at the mound. And that one very low, the 3-1 count, Presley way ahead. And I think this is what they call a swing away scenario. This is a, a not something that happens much often. Yeah. Especially with a batter like this, this is this is what you want if you're number 30, Aubrey Presley right here. And Neil, the delivery, can she get out of the inning? Presley, big cut, and a called strike two. So full count, bases loaded, two outs. This is why you pay the $5 admission price. This is why, to come watch quality softball. And the full count pitch from Neil Presley, a rocket. Oh, that, just kidding, sorry. I got a little excited. She dropped the ball. And one run will score. Two runs will score. Santalinas to third. And it was a shallow pop-up to left field. 
And the Brunel left fielder, I believe that's number 19. Is that 19 or 18? That's and number 19. Carly Cox. Uh, she had to dive for it. She had it for a second, but it dribbled out of her glove. And unfortunately causing a big yeah. play on the other yeah. end for our Brian Lyons here. Yeah. He's scoring two runs. And now still two runners on base for Brian College and Bree Bumgardner into the box. That one low. And Neil needs to find something here. Needs to find something she can take to the next inning if they're going to put her back out there. Yeah, because Neil looks like she's struggling a little bit up at that mound. Granted, that empire has been a bit iffy, but yep. it's kind of gone downhill since then. Almost hit number 99, yeah. Gardner, with that pitch. When you crowd that plate, I love I love crowding the plate. Like, when you crowd it and you can kind of and Bob Garner doesn't really crowd it. She leans forward quite a bit, yeah. loads up her back leg. And Bum Gardner, this one, a shot to the outfield, but handled no problem by number three, Dayton Power. Maybe the Lady Lions should stop hitting it out there. But that'll do it. Lady Lions lead 4-0. to zero. We'll be right back with top of the third action here on the Lions Radio Network. And welcome back as we get ready for the top of the third. Bernal Ti the Bernal Tigers up to bat into the box. Oh, boy. I believe that's, is that number four? No, they don't have a four. That's number number one, right? Number yeah, number one. one, Ava Moon. 4'10 average, my goodness. Freshman. Yeah, eight stolen bases. And at the mound for the Lady Lions, we have number 33, Peyton Reasons. Reason's done a good job. Reason's got out of the bases loaded scenario in the second. Unfortunately for uh, Carly Neal, she wasn't able to do the same as the Lady Lions hung four on her in the bottom of that inning. And the 2-0 delivery from Reason's is a called strike one. This guy's kind of throwing me off. Yeah, man, I'm really not sure what's what's his MO with what he's calling here today. I'm just, the, the, the late strike is weird. And the bunt opportunity, I believe that got Presley in the hand. And two balls, two strikes here for uh, Ava Moon. Reasons looks to pick where she left off. And the delivery, this one a foul tip. Man, this 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 weather's got these would be's acting yeah, up out here. Yeah, we've got quite guys. a we got quite a few back here hanging out with us, coming to watch some softball just like yeah, us. Yeah, I think they just want to hear the broadcast, chasing each other around now. And the two two, Ava Moon hard hit ball to shortstop, Beard handles it, but not in time, as it was deep enough into the into the shortstop third base area. Was a good hit by uh, number one Ava Moon. Yeah, it was. The box for the Tigers going to be Carly Cox. I believe we've already seen her hit once. Sophomore, she's over there with a slugging percentage of 442. Okay, we're going to see what she can do up there. The delivery there. from Reasons, a called strike one. 
Presley's watching Moon. I think they realize eight stolen bases on the year. She'll probably look to go if she can here with, with no out. And the 0-1 delivery from Reasons. This one, not in time. Moon has to scurry back to first. Like you were saying, Moon's known for catching these stolen bases, so yep. we got to definitely keep an eye on her around first. Yeah, they're covering her, and it's, man, that's that's one thing, that the nuance of baseball and softball, like a, a stolen base runner. As Moon about goes there, they are all over. But a stolen base runner that puts the defense on such high alert from trying to stop her to get to that to that scoring position, it's just it's one of the things that you don't get in many sports. Not at all, not at all. How one person can change the entire yeah. tandem of a game. Yeah. And the one-two delivery. This one a hot foul tip back of the fence. Count will stay at one-two. Picking up still here with Carly at the plate. The two-one count with Reasons at the mound. The one-two delivery, another foul tip as that hits just about everybody. The catcher, I believe, might have got the umpire's leg. Just about everybody there. As long as it's not us, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a fence, thank goodness. But we don't have any gear, of course, to defend us like they do. And the, I believe the fourth pitch in the one-two count is low, popped up by Presley. And Moon gonna easily take second. So add nine stolen bases to her count this year. That one probably the most stress-free. Just like we've been saying, definitely wanted to keep an eye on Moon. And yep. a simple mistake like that gave up a base. The 2-2 from Reasons, a hot shot down the first base line, goes foul. My goodness, this at bat has been about 10 pitches. Carly is having a good A-B. And another liner from Cox, this one up the third baseline, and she can't find the field of play, but she's found just about everywhere else in this ballpark today and out of it. Absolutely. These are the ones you gotta be worried about, these people who can hit them. Even if they're little foul balls, all it takes is just a little bit of a change of an angle for it yeah. to be a good play. And there it is, Carly Cox, a deep shot into right. Callie Green gonna throw it. They're not even gonna get to home play. Ava Moon didn't really need to slide there, but that's gonna be run number one for the Tigers. They draw closer, four to one. Good piece of hitting right there. She took a lot of pitches on reasons, and then she pummeled one into right field. Almost on my cue. And I think this is gonna be 22. This is gonna be Whitney Holsey, the third baseman for the Tigers. And a hot shot up to Reason. She'll look off the runner at second, the throw to third, not in time. Bernal advances the runner. So all things considered for the Tigers, a good at bat. You get one to the third, you've got one in striking distance. Now we've got number two, Peyton Hawkins into the box to see if she can get her home. This is Peyton v. Peyton matchup here. Very interesting, very interesting. Number 18, Abigail on third base. Yep. Ready to make a play. And Abigail Brown, she doesn't have a stolen base on the year, so. Oh, sorry, that's number 19. Car that's Carly Cox. I apologize yeah. for that. Yeah. She's got one stolen base on the year, so she's she can move. She can move. Cannot let her make a play. That one well inside. Bout gets Hawkins in the chest. The count moves to 2-0. and oh. Once again, for reasons, just time to calm down, throw your best stuff, and get out of here with minimal damage. Yeah, considering it's 4-1, you know, yep. we're in no rush. And she's in full control of this game right now. Yeah. And the 3-0 pitch. This one inside, a called strike one. That was a beautiful pitch from the yeah. three. And that's exactly where he hasn't been giving it today. So um, 
He thought about it for for just a moment and gave it to her. He he's one of those slow thinking yep. umpires. He really really takes his time. And that moments. a called strike two. That was a good pitch there. As she got that outside of the plate, would have been a reach for Hawkins. And now the full count reasons with one out, one runner on base at third. Can she sit Hawkins down? <laughs> Woo! Man, oh man! <laughs> Thank goodness we got this fence. That one was, I know you can't see it on the camera, that one was directly at the face of, of Marcus Allen. Woke me right up, everybody. And a called ball four on the outside corner. Hawkins will take her base. Yeah, Reasons didn't like it. She wanted the call. You understand why, but might have been a, a Tad outside, maybe. Just a little yeah. bit, but uh, then again, I really can't tell with this guy. Yeah, whether he's it's just tough. Kind of on and off, you know. Considering even the way he's doing, Cali Neal. Yeah. And into the box, number eighteen, Abigail Brown. I believe, I believe she was out last at bat. Check that actually. And a chopper to short, handled by Beard. The throw to second in time. And the base runner about knocked Richards off her feet. But Bernal gets the runner home. And that's going to be a 4-2 to two deficit now for the Tigers. So, you know, what was daunting is looking, uh, they're drawing near as we uh, get through this third inning. Yes, definitely, definitely interesting. They've been able to make plays and stay calm and poised even yep. in the, the face of being down four. Yep. Yeah, they've rallied really well. And this one, a hard hit ball up the right field line, but not hard enough if it's handled in foul territory by Callie Green. And that's how the top of the third will rack up. Bernal hangs two on the Lady Lions. The score, four to two. We'll be right back here on the Lions Radio Network. And welcome in, welcome back. Bottom of the third here, Bryan College leading the Brunel University Tigers four to two. And into the box for the Lady Lions is gonna be number 10, Savannah Beard. Had a hitter last time out as she put one in the gap. Um, the first base, second base gap. She's looking to do the same here. This one outside from Neil. And they left Neil out there, a, a vote of confidence there from uh, from the head coach. Yeah, Bernal definitely has faith in Neil. They definitely think she can handle. They just might, you know, think she's a little shaken up because of the umpire. Yep. And that one, a foul tip behind to the left. And the one-one delivery from Neil. This one. The umpire looks away, he doesn't like it. Two to one count here in the favor of Beard. Very interesting. Uh, I guess he's just really not towards the inside not throws. Loving, not loving the inside on these left-handers. Beard, another foul tip. That one caught by the catcher off the fence. Two two pitch from Neil. This one outside a chopper by Beard, and unfortunately she runs right into the tag by the first baseman. I believe that's uh, I believe that's Peyton Hawkins over there at first. Man, she's tall. 
She I don't is. know if you can see that on the camera. She, she's a tall softball player. She is. She might be running five nine, five ten range. Yeah. The box for the Lady Lions going to be number twenty five, Haley Stahl. Stahl on base and then involved in that kind of weird play at the plate. We're not sure what exactly happened there. But it ended up with a Lady Lions. Yeah, a little run. run. Yeah, a little run. It's helped build this 4-2 advantage. That would have been a big out. That would have been out number two, but they didn't get it, so they put two more on her. Stahl, a big cut, gets under it. This one a foul over the heads of the Lions dugout. And the 1-1 one -one delivery from Neil Stahl, another big hack. This one behind us. Another foul ball. Stahl, she's really, she's really got that power, and yeah. she's ready to send one. Yeah, she throws her, she throws herself at it. It's, she's one, of, which I, I, love. I love. Like she's, she's fully committed to whacking Every that ball. Time. And this one, a chopper up the middle. Stahl's gonna get on base, and she will start the party off here in the bottom of the third for Bryan College. Stepping and up to bat, we have number 15, yeah. Lily Taylor. Next LT. in the conga line. She's really just a, one of the girls I've grown closer with over the past yeah. few weeks. She's really cool, and I think she does the things that she needs to do on the softball field, and hopefully she can get a nice hit here. Right now we have number 25, Haley Stahl on first base. We might get, yeah, I think we might get a pinch runner here. We will. I believe that's going to be Ashley Twitty. Yeah. Into pinch, yeah, pinch run for Haley Stahl. Ashley Twitty, another one of those really fast girls on our team who's just known for getting those bases. Yep. Yeah, Twitty doesn't have a stolen base yet. She might go here. We'll see. Obviously, the substitution leans that they'd probably be trying to advance her. And she's not going to go as a good pitch from Neil stops her in her tracks. I don't know if she's actually thinking about going or if she's just trying to make them make the catcher think that she's going. We'll have to see as the at-bat shakes out. The 1-0 from Neil. I, I really yeah, don't really understand outside, yeah. what he's calling tonight, but. Really outside, yeah. 1-1 one, one count. And this one hard hit by Taylor. Oh, man. Good thing she. I think she's okay. Yeah, that was the out. That was the uh, right fielder. That was number 19, Carly Cox, chasing after that ball. She hit the fence. I think I think she might have hit her hand, but it looks like she's all right. And that was a shot off the bat of of Taylor. See if she can do it again. Yep. This time, hopefully, she can keep it in the field a little more to the right. Hopefully, number 19, yeah. Carly Cox, is doing all right. Yeah. Got a right. time here. She's clutching that hand, that's, that's often a sign that something's not exactly right. Yeah, you guys down here can't hear it, but we heard her hit that fence. Yeah. And it was, there was some pressure behind that. And we'll, we'll step away while that gets resolved, and we'll be right back here in the bottom of the third on the Lions Radio Network. So the Bernardo Coach could check in. Todd says he's all right, appears to be all right. He'll be fighting through some pain, but she's going to stay out there. And the bat of Haley Taylor will resume. One, two count in the favor of Neil. The grit of these softball girls is something admirable. To just shake off a yep. big fence hit like that. And the delivery from Neil, this one low and in the dirt. Didn't want to go for it a moment. Really good piece of uh, blocking there. By the catcher to keep that one in front of her. That was a hot one. But I understand that Audrey is on the play. And Taylor, a hard. 
hard hit ball over the head of the center fielder. Twitty rounds second. Taylor gets to second. Twitty going home to throw to the plate. It's off. And the Lady Lions score another run, but we're not done. Taylor to third, and that's where she'll stop. Big. It's, it's going to go down as a double. Big, big way. hit by number 15, Lily Taylor. We was just talking about her when we checked out, guys. Just saying it. She's ready to make a play, and that's what she did. And they might have had Twitty if the throw was, was on target, but they didn't, and Twitty just kept on chugging. And, and real good on Twitty to keep it pushing, going all the way through and not hesitating. Yep. And, you know, we were just talking about Twitty being able to get subbed in and make a big play, and that's what she did. She did. Taylor gave her, the, gave her the way to do it. That center fielder had no chance of that ball. It was a low line drive that almost hit the fence. It was a perfect hit by number 15, Lily Taylor. You can't ask for nothing better than that. And I believe we got Vanessa Hart. She slaps it on the ground, the throw to first in time for out number two for Brunel. They're gonna hold Taylor at third. Stepping up to bat, we have number 33, Peyton Reasons, our pitcher. Yeah. Reasons can put one out anywhere in the outfield. It's gonna get Taylor home. I mean, unless it's like just super shallow. Just need to put a nice little kiss on that ball. We can get we can get Taylor home. Kelly Neal still at the mound for Bernal. And second pitch called strike two, so now Reason's gonna have to protect the plate. She's gonna have to go after it. Gonna have to make a make a play right here, Reasons. And the 0-2 delivery from Neal on the way. Reasons hard hit ball. And this time Cox is going to make that play. That's a similar play to what we saw on the bottom of the second that she dropped. This time she was ready for it. And that'll be out number three for the Tigers. Brian College puts one more on the board, extends the lead five to two. We'll be right back to the top of the fourth here on the Lions. We're coming down. And welcome back. I believe we uh, we left the hot mic on there on accident. Might have got a little bit of a little bit of journey there. There's nothing wrong with a little bit of journey. Yeah. Well, there is when YouTube pulls us down for <laughs> leaving it on. Hopefully they they don't mind. And the first pitch from Reasons a called strike one into the box for Bernal, going to be I believe that's number eleven. It's me number 11, Charlotte, Charlotte Smith. Smith. The second pitch from Reasons, a called ball one. The one one count, Reasons at the mound. Have number 11, Charlotte Smith at plate right here. What a and the bunt right to stall, stall the throw. Not in time. And a bunt single for Charlotte Smith. Going to get the inning started for Bernal. Stepping up to bat for Bernal Tigers, we have number three, Dayton Power. Hey, 
And wow, two bunts in a row, huh? Not looking to not looking to use much energy to get there. Power, I believe she was I believe Power had a single her first time out. One hit on the day, her second at bat of the day right now. And a bunt on the ground. Reasons the throw to first. Richards covers it in time. She'll throw it over to Beard to hold the runner at second for out number one for the Lions. Stepping up to bat for Bernal is number eight, Riley Smith. Yep. Sophomore outfielder. Yeah, and Smith, her first time out, I believe she I believe she was a ground out. So she's still looking for her first hit. That one a miss on the inside there. Called the ball one. The 1 0 delivery from Reasons. This one popped in the air straight to Reasons. And she looked to throw to second. Nobody there is. Everybody was covering the bunt. So three bunts in a row there for Bernal. They've not a. Uh, I don't know if anybody swung the bat this inning. They've got two outs. Mm, very interesting. Maybe I don't know if they're trying to uh, target our infield or something along the nature of that. But haven't been really swinging at nothing. Just bat, just bunting. And a hard hit ball to center. Hart runs over there and covers it for out number three. The Lady Lions sit them down and they get out of the fourth. With that, we'll take another break. We'll be right back here on the Lions Radio Network. And welcome back in to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Lady Lions leading 5-2 to over the Bernal University Tigers. Into the box for those Lady Lions is going to be number 37, Juliana Santalinas. And uh, her first time out, I believe she was a ground out. Yep, she was. She was a ground out on the ground. I believe that was in the second inning. We'll see if she can get on the board here. A called strike one from Neal. And you know Neil is, is giving up some runs, but you know it's not it's not affected really her delivery uh, that I that I've seen at least. Yeah, not at all. I mean, she still seems very what a hit. Yeah, that was a Juliana That's Linux. what they I believe that's what they call a gap finder. Both Bernal University players diving for the ball, neither one able to get a glove on it. And she'll get her first hit and the first runner on base in the bottom of the fourth. Now stepping up for our soft or for our Brian ladies, we have number three, Kelly Green. Yep. And Green, her first time out. I believe Green. I believe Green was a ground out. She might have been a fly out. Number thirty-seven over there on first base. She's one of our fastest players yeah. on our team. Uh, yeah. Santalinas is going no matter what. I I believe was that a bunt? That was a bunt from number three, Kelly yeah, Green, okay. right there. Yeah. Catcher blocked it for a second. But Santalinas moves to second base. The Lions have got a runner in scoring position. And uh, who better to score those runs than Aubrey Presley here? Who better? This is almost like a perfect setup right here. And the delivery from Neil Presley thought about it for a moment. And I think that was a foul tip. She Went around and then realized she didn't want to go around, but the bat was in the way. You Foul ball. ball. Yep. Yeah. 
And the 0-1 delivery on the way from Neal. This one, a called strike two there. And I believe this is what happened with Presley last at bat. She got behind really quickly, and then I, I think she still, she, I believe she hit the ball. Presley, a hard hit ball to, and this one's gonna be mid center. It's gonna be fielded yeah. by Burnell. That's uh, yeah, Carly you know, Cox, yeah. 19 Carly Cox, who suffered that hand injury a little bit earlier. Yeah. She's able to put the squeeze in that ball in the field. I keep saying hard hit. Where we're sitting, it looks like they launch, and then you kind of realize as the ball gets out there, hey, that may not be as, as far as I thought. Yeah, we're right behind home plate, yeah. guys, so every hit looks like a bomb. Yes. Yeah. Box for the Lady Lions. It's going to be Bree Brum Bumgardner, and she's going to put one up the third base line. Cox will hold her at third base. Two ladies on for Bryan College. One on first, one on third, and into the box for Lady Lions. It's going to be number 10, Savannah Beard. And Beard, I believe she's got a hit and she's got a ground out. She's one for two on the day. Yeah, the ladies have been doing a very good job of, you know, finding those gaps in between the Bernal players and hitting those balls in between yep. them. Those are the hits that really can change the game right there. And despite, you know, you know, the weirdness that we've seen from this umpire, I don't think there's been a walk in this game, has there? I, I'm not sure, actually, Drew. That's actually a very good um, yeah. Just a, observation yeah. thinking about that. Bree Bumgarner steals second base there. You can't, you can't throw that one, unfortunately, and give up a run. Santalinas would definitely beat that tag. And the pitch, Beard, this one popped up, and yeah, it's going to get fouled, thankfully. The count will be 1 2, or excuse me, 1 1. Two outs. Yeah, runner on second and third. Dangerous spot here for Neil. And uh, if she's not able to get out of this one, it might send a signal the end of her day. And the delivery from Neil Beard, a chopper. Weird. That was a weird one. That one up the third base line. The one-two count. So you're either you're an out from getting away from the inning, and for the Lady Lions, you're a hit from getting into getting into home plate. Very interesting situation right here. One of the only sports where you can really be in such a position. And struck her out. Neil sits down. Beard. The Lady Lions not able to capitalize with runners in scoring position. That's how the bottom of the fourth will end. We'll be right back for the top of the fifth here on the Lions Radio Network. And welcome back in to the Lions Radio Network on site in a beautiful Dayton, Tennessee here today. About 70 degrees, a little bit of wind, a little bit of breeze, and the Lady Lions up on the scoreboard. What more could you ask for here on this day? Absolutely nothing, really. It's just a beautiful day outside, watching yeah. good softball. Yeah. This is a day outside where you're either going to be watching sports or you're going to go you're going to go grab the football or whatever you play and play with your buddies. Yeah, this is definitely a day not to be inside. It doesn't get much better than this, brother. And the delivery from Reasons. This one, a shallow pop-up. And it's going to get foul. Santalinas and Beard in the area. And now the 0-2 count for, um, for Cox. Excuse me. Our Lady Lions looking in a very promising position right now. Yep. If they can keep control of the game and the pace. 
We have number 33, Peyton Reasons. Oh, Hard man. hit. My goodness. Carly Cox got that by the glove. The hot corner of Haley Stahl. Santalinas can't find the ball. And Cox is going to get a double. That's going to go down as a double. That was a very good hit by Cox right there. Straight down to that third third base side. Yeah, they call that hot corner over there. You see why. That was a, that was a frozen rope on the ground. Mm -hmm. Very tough catch from Haley try to try to make. Pitch from Reasons, a called ball one. No strikes, no outs right now. Yeah. We have number 22 for Brunel Tigers stepping up. That is going to be Whitney Holsey. And Holsey fouls that one up off the left field line. It gets out of the park. And Holsey, her first time up. I believe Holsey was a ground out. She might have. She might have been a strikeout. I'm not too sure. I need to find a more, a better way so we can tell you what they did. We'll get that in future broadcasts. That one high from Reasons. I believe the count's going to move to 2 1. And the 2 1 delivery on the way from Reasons. A chopper. Wow. Reasons got it. What a catch by Reasons on the mound. And they've got her in the pickle now. Cox Beard runs her down the tag. He got, she got her. What a play by number 10, Savannah Beard. Call it the shoestring tackle. Are they playing football out there? Very interesting. This is such a very intriguing game that's been going on today. What a catch first off by number 33, Peyton. Reasons yeah, I mean, that was, that, a, that, was a, that was a rocket up the middle. Reflexes are very, very fast to be doing something like that. So impressive. And if Beard got her, it was by her shoe. It by was, her shoe yeah, it, was, it wasn't much. And, and Savannah was hawking her down. <laughs> Bernal coach is having a having a conversation with the the uh, field official right now. Probably voicing his opinion about how yeah. he's felt about these last few calls. Yeah. I wasn't sure. I, I could not tell from here if she got her. It was. I mean, looking at that leg motion and the tab. I mean, that that's they were that's both a hard moving call. very quick yeah. at that at that at that pace right there. But to the umpire's credit, I mean, he was in great position. He got all the way down to that. Uh, and he was right there yeah. looking down at their, he their was. ankles and feet. So yep. if anybody were to make the call, it would be him. And the 1-0 delivery from Reasons, a called ball two. That one inside. And while Beard was over making that, making the Superman play over mm -hmm. there, uh, Bernal the the batter actually got to second base so they've they've still got somebody on second base just with one out now that's still number 22 that's Whitney Holsey yeah, up Holsey. there on second right now there Bernal has number that's going to be Peyton Hawkins yeah Peyton Hawkins this Peyton versus Peyton matchup is yep. very interesting <laughs> The 3-1 count, Peyton Reasons yeah. at the mound. Hawkins was a strikeout her last time at bat. That one a little Ooh. outside. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, good call there. Hawkins will take her base. And now there is a force out at every base but home. And uh, stepping in for the Brunel Tigers, going to be number two, or number, excuse me, number 18, Abigail Brown. She's 0 for 2 on the day, but she's batted in a run. No strikeouts as of yet. That one a ball, I believe, on the low outside corner there. Reasons is in the 72 pitch range right now. That's what they've got her at in the stats. 72, that's pretty good for almost five innings. That one a foul ball up at the third base line. Still up at bat, number 18, Abigail Brown. She's wanted to make something happen for these Bernal Tigers. Um, right now, if I'm Miss Reasons, I'm just playing very calm and collected and trying to get yeah. apart Bernal right now. You're really just looking for a strikeout or something on the ground here, get you a force out, get you closer. I mean, you don't have to get out of the inning right here. You just take it one out at a time and yeah, yeah no just, rush. just protect the scoreboard, protect the lead. Absolutely. 
And hard hit by Abigail Brown, a little floaty. That one to go foul over the Bernal University dugout. The 2-2 count. Reason's doing a good job here. And Brown steps into the box. The delivery from Reasons on the way. 2-2 count. Abigail Brown, hard hit. Santolinas going back, back. Santolinas able to handle it. And that is Holsey that tags up. The throw to the plate by Richards, not in time. And a scored third run for Bernal. By number 22. Yeah, that's Holsey. I don't. Holsey. I don't know if Beer knew that Holsey had gone. I don't think so, because she threw it to number two Jade Richards over there at our second yeah. base and probably should have thrown it there to home. Yeah. And she does have a cannon. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if she could make that throw. That's a big score for the Bernard yeah, Tigers it is. right yep. there. That definitely puts them a lot more in this game, puts them a lot more into striking distance and cuts that lead a lot down. Number 12 from Bernal, Cameron yeah, Markey. She gets, nice on, hit yeah, she gets on base. First. So wait. Yeah, that's Hawkins. Yeah, that's Hawkins. So I think it should be two. Is it two outs? I believe we've got two outs. There's one on the scoreboard. Yeah, two outs. Yeah. So Bernal University, once again, runners on first and second. And into the box for him is going to be number 11. Charlotte Smith. Yeah. And I believe Smith, yeah, I believe Smith has it. Yeah, she's one for two on the day. And the delivery, that one, swing and a miss. Reasons gets her up in the zone with that one. And the 0-2 count, Reasons in a comfortable position now, playing ahead. She can get out of this inning with one pitch. Mm -hmm. And the 0-2 on the way from Reasons. Smith gets a little poke on that one. O2 count right now with reasons at the mound, like Drew just stated. Continue this inning with just one pitch. Yep. And another chopper into the Bernal dugout this time. The girl in the on deck circle had to dodge out of the way there. <laughs> Unfortunately, almost hit her. And the O2 is going to be on the way from reasons. Smith doing a good job to stay in this at bat, fouling off a couple, getting some extra pitches on reasons. The throw, Smith, that one just foul, as that would have been. That was the spot over there, a foot or two more right, and that was that was advancing the runners to at least third and second. And that's been for both teams. A lot a lot of batters from both teams have been hitting right there yep. in that real sweet spot. Yep. That just needs to be a little more to the right, at least in from our, our direction. And the 0-2 once again, Smith's got her. Reason sits her down, swinging. And that is how the fifth inning will wrap up. Lady Lions, 5-3. to three. Bernal puts one on the scoreboard. We'll be right back for the bottom of the fifth here on the Lions Radio Network.
and welcome back. We'll get right into the action. As always, your voice of the lines, Drew Rogers, joined today by Marcus Allen. Marcus, how are you feeling today, buddy? Good experience so far? Yeah, so far it's been a great experience, you know. It's been a great day to watch some softball. Our Lady Lions are up right now, and Vernon's giving us a great game. I yep. cannot complain. I can't either. You know, Lady Lions fan, want all Brian's teams to win, of course, but, you know, I I would, I'd be lying if I said I enjoyed watching any blowouts. I'm, I'm a sports fan first. Sports fan first and foremost, and I love watching quality sports, mm -hmm. man. And the 0-1 from Neil gonna turn into 0-2. Stall well behind in the count. Bernal still sticking with their pitcher. Yeah, I I wondered. I mean, she didn't give up any runs last inning, so I wondered if they'd take her out just um, just because. But Neil is at 60 pitches, despite you know, despite the runs on the scoreboard. She's got five earned runs, but she's done a really good job. Like maybe not a good job, but she's she's given up a lot of first pitch hits. Like she's done a a good enough job of not getting into some of those long count battles where there's yeah. a bunch of foul tips. And the one-two on the way from Neil. This one inside. Umpire doesn't like it. Very, very interesting call coming from the umpire there to me. I thought that was not a runner up. I thought that was yeah. all in the box, but that's, that's why we're here on the broadcast. Yeah, that's why we're not wearing blue. <laughs> and stall hard hit ball to right field. The right fielder going back, able to handle it at the fence or somewhere close to it. For out number one for Bernal. And into the box for Brian College is going to be number 15, Lily Taylor. Of course, Taylor, that shot to center field her last time out. She's one for one. That was a big play last time at plate from number one five, Lily Taylor. Hopefully she can make something shake like that right now. We have nobody at base. Nobody Taylor needed. hard on the ground. She's digging it out to first, but the throw in time from the shortstop for out number two. So this is, you know, this is not a, not ideal, not what you want to, you know, Brunel puts one on the board there. You'd like a, you'd like at least a long inning to get some more pitches on Neil, maybe force a pitch change here. Definitely, definitely, because Neil, you know, like you were saying, she's one of those ones that gives him up a little bit earlier. She's yep. not one for the long run, so try to make her get out of a rhythm, I guess. Yeah. And Santalina's in the box, Santalina's. That's Vanessa Hart in the box. Oh, excuse me. It is. You're right. I've done that twice now. It happens. You know, very similar looking from, you know, when I got the <laughs> uniform on. But yeah. Yeah, it's Vanessa Hart at the bat. She's been doing really good. She, like we've been mentioning earlier, she played phenomenal last game of Union. Yep. She got a nice hit earlier. Let's see if she could do something again. And that one high. Neil behind in the count. 2-0. Vanessa Hart, one for two on the day and an RBI. Let's see if she can add to it here. 2-0 pitch, Hart. This one going to be a called strike one. 2-1 count for Neal. Hart at bat. The slapping technique is so interesting to me, Drew. Yep. The fact that, you know, instead of hitting it, you know, full speed, Full strength and uh, yeah. as hard as you can, you, you take advantage of your speed and hit it down and yeah. try to get to get some bases. And the best, I mean, the best at it, you know, you see, and we have some good ones on the team. I mean, it's really hard to get them out unless they they hit it directly at second base. Uh, that one's popped up in the air by Hart. It's going to be out number three, but uh, it's it's hard to get them out unless they hit it to first or second. Any hard hit ball away from first base, I mean. <laughs> they can move, that, yeah. that's for sure. Definitely. And it's very impressive just in general to do that slapping technique, to be able to have that hand-eye coordination yeah. at that speed, yep. to hit that ball at that angle, and then be able to stop and turn and run full speed. It's just not, not easy to do at all. Yeah. Unfortunately for Brian College, they go one, two, three down in the bottom of the fifth. We'll be right back for the top of the sixth here on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back in to the Lions Radio Network. As always, your voice of the Lions, Drew Rogers, joined today by my co-host, Marcus Allen, in the box for Bernal. It's going to be Dayton Power, a bunt. We've seen a lot of bunts from them yeah, late here in this game. Definitely, definitely seen a lot of bunts. They were switching it up, you know. At first, I think the coach was realizing that the hitting wasn't working, at least. Let's, let's add some bunts in there and switch yeah. it up to throw off, you know, our infield. And honestly, it's been working a little bit better than the original. It really has. I mean, they've. They've gotten on base on some of these bunts. They really have. Props to them. This one a little inside coming from Reasons. Oh. That's a call strike two. Never mind. That was yeah. a call strike two by but our umpire. Yeah, Dayton Power one for two on the day. And Reasons looking to sit her down here on this third pitch. The pitch, that one outside. It'll be a called ball one. One, two count for Reasons. Dayton Power up at plate. Freshman. And the one two from Reasons, a hard hit by Dayton Power. Santalinas gets under it. That jumped off the bat. That one was hard hit. I don't think I can say that. Santalinas with a great yeah. catch in stride as well. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Into the box for the Tigers, going to be number eight, Riley Smith. And I think Smith is one for two on the day. I could be wrong. No, she's 0 for three, excuse me. Very impressive catch by number 37 out there. Yeah, at our field. no, absolutely. That was a that was a base saver. Throw by reasons. This one inside. Called strike one on the inside corner. And the pitch. This one a foul ball by Smith. And Smith, a 424 average coming into this game and has been has, has been shut out here today. Good job by Reasons to shut down one of their best hitters. It goes to say how well our ladies prepare for our games. Yep. You know, definitely paying attention to their, their, their base dealers, the ones who can hit, and even people who are bunting. <laughs> and this one, a chopper. I believe Reasons got a glove on it for a second. Beard picks it up, no throw to first. And Smith gets on base there. Now stepping into the box is number one, Ava Moon for the Bernal Tigers. Yeah. And Ava on the day, I believe she's got a she's got a stolen base. I, I know she's got a run. I believe she's got a hit as well. And the first pitch of the at bat, this one, whoa, looks like it kind of slipped out of Reason's hands there a little bit. It's going to be a high ball one. Yeah, we were talking a lot about Moon earlier. She's one of those... One of those girls you don't want to get on base because she's very slick and yep. tends to steal a lot of Pretty bases. quick. And a called strike one. Just no rhyme or reason to it, is there? No, I really just cannot understand what this umpire is calling today or, or what his MO or motive is or what pitches he doesn't even like, but... And Ava Moon pops one up. Santalinas under it, makes the play. The tag up at first, the throw from Santalinas. Not in time, scooped up by Richards. And Brian College gets the out. And now just one out away from getting a, out of the inning. A runner on second base for Bernal. And that's gonna be Carly Cox stepping back into the box for Bernal. If she had a hit on her last time out. Santalina's doing a really good job out there in the outfield behind third. She's been catching all those balls that have been out there. Carly Cox, two for three on the day, one RBI. She's been really good. If I remember correctly, Carly Cox was up here batting for about 10, 20 minutes yep. earlier. Yeah, she was. She had about a 12 pitch at bat in her second time out. And the 1 0 from Reasons on the way. This one, a pop up. Callie Green under it, able to handle it. And they know it runs given up by the Lady Lions. The score remains 5-3. And we'll be right back for bottom of the six action here on the Lions Radio Network.
and welcome back. So we've got a five to three ball game on our hands. Lady Lions on top into the box for Brian. Gonna be number 33, Peyton Reasons. Reasons, of course, the pitcher. She's been doing work on the mound for the Lady Lions. 0 for 2 on the day. See if she can add, get her first hit here. And the 1-0 pitch, Reasons pop up. This one, second baseman's under it. Handled pretty easily for out number one. Some quick innings we've had here, Marcus. We're moving right along through this fifth and sixth inning. Definitely, they've definitely been quicker than, you know, yeah. normal. We've been out here, you know, sometimes these softball games can be two, two, two and a half hours, but yeah. it's definitely yeah, on the quicker side. Yeah, we're moving. We are at, we're at 435, so we're, we're about on track for two hours. We'll see where it goes. And Santa Linus has to duck out of the way. A high ball at the face mask. Going to be called ball one. But now still having faith in Carly Neal at the mound. And that a called strike one for Neal. A little on the high side. Um, gives the nod. 1-1 one, one count right now. Top of the sixth. And the 1-1 one, one count, or the pitch, excuse me. That one, a chopper from Santa Linas. The throw, not in time. She takes the base. First hit of the inning for Bryan College. And that was perfect. I mean, she didn't get all of it, but she hit it high up in the air that Bernal had to wait on it to come to them. And we've talked, we've talked before. We've I mean, talked extensively yeah. about the slapping technique today. Number 37 has been doing just a great job today out there fielding and hitting today. Stepping up to bat, we have number three, Callie Green. And green on the day, 0 for 3, but it doesn't matter. It gets her in the knee. That's a free base. She's going <laughs> to Oof, that one might stung a little bit. Yeah. She's going to feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, not something you want to see. But, uh, you know, if you're Brian, you, you take it. You take the free base. You one do. pitch, free base. Neil needs to settle down here. She's letting it get a little bit away from her here. You know, the golden rule is there's no crying in baseball, and I know that applies to softball <laughs> as well, so yep. you shake that off and take the base. You got Aubrey Presley stepping up. Presley on the day is one for three with two RBIs, looking to make it two more. That one tipped off the bat of Presley. Man, that is a that's a that's a, that's a swing right there. Yeah, I'm telling She's you. She's looking to take it. She wants to send it all the way out over the fence. And there's, uh, there's quite a few spectators out there right now, and speaking of, you haven't ever seen a game, you're, uh, you're a parent or uh, just a friend, anybody, doesn't matter, you don't have to be related, that one a hard chopper up third. Um, but if you just, you know, like what we do here, tickets are five bucks, you get to watch both games. Consider coming out, it's a good time. Um, most all the games are really good action. They're, they're pretty close, uh, I'd say. Lady Lions are pretty good this year. So come on out to the game if you haven't before. Especially now that it's springtime, this yep. weather's clearing up. It's just really enjoyed. We'll come out here and watch some good softball. And that one, a called ball one. I believe Neil thought that umpire was about to, about to cock it back, but it doesn't ring her up. And the one-two delivery. Yep. Presley, that one, a shallow. Oh, she dropped she it. She dropped it. But wow. uh, they might get the force out at second. They do. But it's going to move Santa Linus to third base. And yeah. Aubrey Presley going to first off of that hit. That's the second time we've seen a shallow fly ball out to the outfield dropped by a Bernal Tiger. Yep, yep. And now stepping into the box, number 99, Bree Bumgardner, looking to send one deep. Yeah, Miss Bumgardner, she is really known for sending them deep. And hopefully she can place her bat perfect on this ball right here from Neil. And a called strike one as Neil seemed to like point at the umpire, like, I think you, I think you owe me, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I, I, yeah, we'll go with it. This has been a very interesting day coming from the guys in blue. That one a called strike two. 2-0 two count for Neil on Bum yeah. Gardner. And next inning is could be the last inning. Lady Lions might not have to use the bottom of the seventh, so it'd be big to hang some runs here, Good create point. a little cushion. 
Neal the delivery, Bumgarner digs it. That one foul over the dugout. And the 0-2 delivery to Bumgarner. This one a hard hit ball, but right at the face of Carly Cox out there in left field. And uh, I got excited. That one, that one looked to be looked like it was going to bring some fruit, but it didn't. And of course, we're headed to the uh, seventh inning. 5-3 Lady Lions, what could be the last side in this first game. Stay tuned. We'll have that for you and more here on the Lions Radio Network. And welcome back in, Lady Lions leading five to three, top of the seventh, desperation time for Bernal now. They've got to get some runs on the board. Uh, as always, your voice of the Lions, Drew Rogers, joined by my co-host, excuse me, Marcus Allen. And uh, this could be it for game number one. Don't want to jinx anything, of course, but you're Bernal, you put, you got to get at least two on the board. Definitely, if you're Bernal, you're going to want to try to tie this game up right here in this inning, unfortunately. Um, Bernal hasn't had the best side when it comes to the umpires, but yep. Lady Lions here taking the lead, 5-3. It's not taking away, anything away from Brian. They, they put really what good game here. This one a pop up to right field, Callie Green under it, and she's able to handle it for out number one. Number 22, Holsey got out right there. It's first out for the Lady Lions. As you can hear, Coach. Nathan really encouraging his girls, yep. you know. Just two more. That's it. That's all it takes here to get out of this one. That's it. Into the box for Bernal is going to be number two, Peyton Hawkins. And we've seen the Peyton v. Peyton duel all day. And uh, it's, it's, I guess it's been reasons. Hawkins has been walked twice. So it's been, it's, uh, it's kind of been a stalemate, to be honest with you. Been when, a very interesting matchup between two Peytons, <laughs> if you ask me. And the first pitch, a called strike one. The second on the way. Whoa, ducks out of the way from Hawkins. That one gets away from her. Great reaction time <laughs> yeah. from Hawkins. Wow. Now, I know getting hit in the head is not fun, but you got the helmet. You might stand in there and take that one, get somebody on base for your team. Mm, I don't absolutely. know. I'm, I think if I, that came at me, I'd probably, I'd probably do the same thing. Right now, when we need a big play for my team, I think I'd put my ball in the line, too. That a called ball, too. The count two to one in the favor of Hawkins. And the 2 1 pitch from Reasons. This one a called strike two. Got her on the outside corner. And Hawkins, you know, we, we touched on how tall she is earlier. She doesn't have any home runs on the year, but I imagine she can get it out there with just, you know, being that tall. This one on the inside jammed her. And Hawkins, I think, trying to protect the plate, sensing what time it is in the game. Number 33, Peyton Reasons at the line for our ladies. She's been doing a very good job this game, controlling the tempo, not rushing nothing. And the 2-2 pitch, this one got away from her. Good block there by Presley, gonna knock the count up at three to two, and it's full. And uh, all bets are off when the count hits three two. Definitely, right now it's just one pitch to make or break this game. Mm -hmm. And the full count delivery, struck her out, swinging Hawkins back to the dugout. And Reason sitting one out away 
from the win. And it de they definitely gave her the win. She's been the only pitcher in today. And to save the game for Brunel, Abigail Brown is going to have to get on base in some way. She's 0 for 3 today, but she's got two RBIs, I believe, from a fly out. Brown, hard hit. Beard dives. Beard keeps it in the infield. Makes the throw. The throw in time for out number three. The Lady Lions are going to win this one. A great piece of fielding by Beard. What a play by Savannah yeah. Beard. Yep. Number 10 making the game-saving play right there with the throw to first to Lily Taylor. Yeah, it was a heck of a play to keep that ball in the infield and then recognize the slower base runner and make that throw. Heads up play all around. And Lady Lions take the first of two. We'll be right back um, for the next game. We'll be on that live stream. Hopefully, we'll have the second camera for you. You'll be able to see that. Um, it'll be that way you can see more of left field. Um, if you're interested in that, same channel, Brian Athletics, me and Marcus back on the call. And uh, we hope to see you there here on the Lions Radio Network.